From the late 1890s until the 1930s, Lucy Kemp Welsh was one of the best known female artists in Britain. Though her reputation declined in the decades after the Second World War, she is now widely regarded as one of Britain's most important equestrian artists. Her particular interest was the working horse. It was a subject she captured with style and verve, and as she later remarked, horses are to me the breath of life. Born in Bournemouth in 1869, Lucy came from a prosperous Dorset family. With her younger sister Edith, she enjoyed a happy childhood surrounded by animals. Her father, a solicitor and amateur naturalist, took his daughters on walks in the countryside, inspired by a lifelong love of nature. Lucy later explained that the new forest has a charm for me which is beyond all telling. Lucy had been at Herkimer's art school for little more than a term when she saw a group of gypsies driving horses along the muddy road through Bushy. She rushed from her classroom with the nearest object she could lay her hand on, the lid of her wooden paint box, to make what she called this lightning sketch, the scene in oil. This quick, immediate study later became Gypsy Horse Drovers, 1895 which was the first painting she exhibited at the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Professor Herkimer was astonished when he first saw it. It seemed incredible that such a young female student could have painted it. Lucy was delighted by everyone's response. She later wrote that after seeing this painting, he never ceased to be the kindest and sincerest critic and guide that ever a young painter had. Anna Sewell's novel Black Beauty was first published in 1877, when Lucy was just eight years old. Her father, Edwin, bought her a first edition, and it was this copy that she used to carefully annotate potential locations and ideas for her illustrations. Robert Baden Powell's horse, Black Prince, who appeared in both The Riders and Forward, was the perfect model for the Black Beauty Commission. In 1916, Lucy Kent Welsh attempted to go to France to record the Great War. Despite her sustained efforts and to her considerable disappointment, she was unsuccessful. No woman would be sent abroad by British government's extensive official war artist scheme. Undeterred, Lucy Kent Welsh went to Wiltshire instead. In 1919, the Imperial War Museum commissioned Lucy to paint an official record of the Remount Depot at Rusley Park to document the female staff's exceptional achievements in rehabilitating injured army horses. In this picture, the female grooms are seen calmly and majestically riding out, wearing just scarfs on their heads, each in charge of two potentially skittish horses. Inspectors who periodically visited the Remount Depots recorded that women could train remounts more efficiently, quickly and gently than any male groom. Lucy's larger paintings were developed from numerous intimate life studies, carefully recorded from nature. She was adamant that an artist should never use photographs and that careful observation combined with rapid sketching and constant hard work were the only foundations for success. To achieve this, she would immerse herself in the location, setting up her canvas outdoors and directly working from life. As this painting clearly reveals, every horse was an individual to Lucy. Their unique personalities and peculiarities were carefully portrayed into paint. This approach proved an important factor in her success as an artist. Groups of horses together like this were particularly interesting to her. I love their rows of kind faces as they stand tied still, she later wrote. They are all known by name and spoken of as friends. The importance of the working horse diminished rapidly in the years after the First World War, as motor vehicles began replacing them. 
Once a quiet country village, Bushy became ever more urbanised. The old world of Lucy's youth was vanishing in front of her. Seeking new subjects, she discovered the wonders of the circus. Having learnt to drive in 1916, each summer Lucy hitched a caravan to her car and followed the circus on its tour around England. She painted the horses, the elephants and the acrobats. This is one of Lucy's finest oil paintings inspired by her circus adventures. It captures the Royal Hanoverian cream horses as they prepare to enter the big top stage. It was only her advancing age and the approach of another war that brought an end to Lucy's travels in the late 1930s. Lucy's fame started to decline, along with the world of horses in which she had grown up, as it started to become increasingly unfashionable. Since the 1970s, her reputation has been gradually revived through the efforts of London art dealer David Messer. In April 2023, a new biography of the artist was published, coinciding with this major exhibition of her work at the Russell Coates Art Gallery and Museum in Bournemouth. We would love for you to come and view her works in the flesh at this exhibition and witness her extraordinary talent. She really was a unique and iconic painter of her time and the way she captured light, movement, gesture and character is testament to her hard work to become one of the best painters of horses.